Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is about colorectal cancer deaths are skyrocketing in young white people as rates drop in older African Americans. And researchers, well, they're perplexed. New data from the American Cancer Society show the at-risk demographic for colorectal cancer deaths is changing. Rates are plummeting in older African Americans who were once most at risk. Meanwhile, in the last 12 years, rates have soared among young white people. Experts say it's perplexing since risk factors like obesity have gone up universally and screening rates have also gone up among all rate races and ages. You see, colorectal cancer deaths have rocketed among under 55, particularly white people in the U.S. since the mid-2000s, new figures reveal. For decades, the most at-risk demographics were African Americans and over 55. However, rates have plummeted in blacks and older people after years of efforts to target diagnosis and deaths in these demographics. Simultaneously, death rates are rapidly increasing in younger people and white people, according to the figures published today in the Journal of American Medical, uh, Medical Association. While experts celebrated the progress to cut black deaths, they admit they are baffled by the sharp rise in rates in whites, considering risk factors such as obesity have increased universally, as have preventative me measures such as screening. Rising mortality strongly suggests that the increase in incidence is not only earlier detected detection of a prevalent cancer, but a true and perplexing escalation in disease occurrence, said Rebecca Siege of the American Cancer Society. Well, family, this graph here shows a small uptick in colorectal cancer deaths, death rates among white people. While it may look modest, experts warn the sharp rise is st statistically huge and completely baffling. The new research comes six months after Siegel's previous study, which found that millennials, those born between 1980 and 1995, are four times more likely to develop rectal tumors stemming from the large intestine compared to those born around 1950. Now, her study shows death rates have also skyrocketed. So, here's a breakdown of death rates by race. For the current study, Siegel and a research team analyzed data from the National Center for Health Statistics, representing more than 99% of deaths in the United States. The analysis included 242,637 people ages 20 to 54 who died from colorectal cancer between 1970 and 2014. At first, they saw a decline in mortality, in mortality rates for 20 to 54 year olds between 1970 and 2004. But as of 2005, rates started to rapidly climb, almost back up to the rate it was in 1970. So for whites, the increase was confined to white individuals among whom mortality rates increased by 1.4% per year. While colorectal cancer diagnosis rates went up in people aged 21 to 37, the new figure shows the rate of deaths increased in people aged 30 to 49. Mortality remained stable in white individuals aged 20 to 29 from 1988 to 2014, but it increased from 1995 to 2014 by 1.6% per year in those aged 30 to 39 years old. In the last 12 years since 2005, the mortality rate increased 1.9% per year among people aged 40 to 49 years old. Death rates also increased 0.9% per year for white people aged 50 to 54 years old since 2005. Now, for blacks, among black individuals, mortality declined throughout the study period at a rate of 0.4% to 1.1% annually. 
this was the case for every age group. Bravo. Thank God, what a blessing. And as I showed you the graph earlier on the white race, here is the graph of the black race. Drop in death rates among black individuals, mortality decline throughout the study period. Nice. Other races. The report focused on Caucasians and African Americans with other races in one category. Among other races combined, mortality rates declined from 1970 to 2006 and were stable thereafter. Now, a problem I have with this study, just like many other studies, just like many issues, period, in the United, so-called United States of America, dealing with this white inferiority complex of white Americans, what they like to deem as white superiority, dealing with this mental retardation or this dysfunction, um, I've noticed that whenever race is discussed, it's always discussed between blacks and whites. Why is that? Well, unfortunately, it's been a norm. White people have done this throughout pretty much all of our lives. I don't know how old you are, you, listening to this video, but in my lifetime, that's all I hear about is a comparison between whites and blacks. They just simply refuse to acknowledge other races of people, although there are plenty other ethnic um, ethnicities in the United States. It seems like white Americans or white inferiority complex individuals always seem to like to focus on just the two, blacks and whites. And, have you, and as you heard in this study, they combined other races into one. That's crazy to me. Anyways, I digress. Researchers are perplexed by the figures. The authors note that these dis, dis, um, disparate racial patterns are inconsistent with trends in major risk factors for colorectal cancer like obesity which is universally increasing. They say rising colorectal cancer mortality in people in their 50s was particularly unexpected because screening which can prevent cancer as well as detect it early when it is more cur curable has been recommended starting at age 50 for decades. Screening prevalence has increased for all age groups over 50 but is lower in people 50 to 54 than in those 55 and older 44 percent versus 62 percent respectively in 2013 according to the National Health Interview Survey. It is especially surprising for people in their 50s for whom screening is recommended and highlights the need for interventions to improve use of age, appropriate screening, and timely follow-ups of symptoms. So, as I just went over this data from this study, it appears that this study is finding more and more young white people developing and dying from colorectal cancer. That is the information based on a study. It is not something I'm making up. It appears that young white people are being targeted, if you will, of developing and dying from colorectal cancer. This is Guru. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your time. Peace and love to you and yours. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.